Hello YouTube. I I just wanted to do this video, kind of like uh, do like a quick little discussion, quick little discussion type video about uh, how Daniel Bryan has been pushed since his return to action before WrestleMania and. The whole thing that kind of got me to kind of make this video was a tweet from Chris Robinson. Go give him a follow. He, uh, he's on Twitter, Chris Robinson, NJ, and also he's also on YouTube. So give him a sub, give him a follow. He's a cool guy. I talked with him a little bit. During Raw, SmackDown, and uh, in, and WWE pay per views, so give him a follow. He pretty much put out this tweet. Uh, let me find it. Let me scroll down here. Like this Daniel Bryan comeback run has been lackluster, losing to Rusev. Just stick him on 205 Live and finish the burial, and. Kind of got me thinking a little bit about this push. Really hasn't been that that uh, good. It hasn't been that exciting. But let's think of it like this: It's like uh, going back to WrestleMania 30 when he became WWE World Heavyweight Champion. And uh, defending it a month later against Kane and not doing anything because of a neck injury, which forced him to to uh, vacate the title. And that was a neck injury that caused him to vacate it. And then moving on to WrestleMania 31, being Intercontinent, winning the Intercontinental Championship and having to vacate that because of a concussion, and which that that concussion was what forced Daniel Bryan to retire the following year for WrestleMania 32, and. What got me thinking about why Daniel Bryan really hasn't had much of a push since he returned to action after WWE finally gave him the okay to let him go into go into in ring competition again. Like Daniel Bryan has had pretty decent Decent and good matches since his return. He returned at WrestleMania 34, giving him that WrestleMania moment of him coming back to to the same building where he solidified his career of being WWE Champion. So that was pretty... He got his... WrestleMania moment of returning to action, and and then the next biggest moment was at the Greatest Royal Rumble, being the current longest and longest entrant in the Royal Rumble, but he didn't win, which setting up his match at Backlash with Big Cass, which he did win, but I think that feud might still continue. And also, just with the main event of tonight's SmackDown, losing to Rusev, which, which I'm pretty sure lose putting other people over, and which Rusev is over with the fans, and I like I heard the. Heard the crowd reaction. It was split. Half Daniel Bryan, half half Let's Go Bryan, and ha the other half was Rusev Day. So what I'm thinking like is Daniel Bryan had to relinquish two championships 
because of injuries. He had to retire because of a concussion. And I think, like, this run so far, more or less WWE is trying to test the waters with Daniel Bryan. They want to see if Daniel Bryan is possibly strong enough to handle a full-time run like he did before all these injuries forced him to retire. And Daniel Bryan has been sidelined for the past two years. Actually, over two years, if you count, when he had to relinquish the Intercontinental title at WrestleMania 31. So, I think WWE is trying to take it slow with them. Like a slow build back. Like, I'm just think, like, they are slowly building him back up. This, they want to see if he can handle a full-time schedule like he used to and possibly reward him with a title run if he can, if he proves himself again. Like, he just came back, back from a injury that he had to fight to get cleared. WWE want, wants to see if he can, like Daniel Bryan is fighting to prove himself that he can handle a major push again. Like, I'm pretty sure WWE is a little weary if they put a title on him that he might be injured, might get injured, and have to relinquish it like he did with the WWE title and the Intercontinental title. But I'm just seeing how this will all turn out. Like I would like to see him possibly be the Intercontinental Champion or WWE Champion again, because those are the two belts that Daniel Bryan never lost. I like to see him get back one of those titles. And, and there's pretty much a lot of guys on the roster that he would have dream, that I would like to see him have dream matches with. Kurt Angle, AJ Styles, Nakamura, like, the name a few, but I think like WWE want to build them back up, but it was like like when he was general manager, the yes chance kind of died down a bit, and now that he's returned, like people are cheering for him again. They want to make they want to get the fan base back to where it was before WrestleMania 30. And they're well they're well well back on their way, but I think WWE wanna see if Daniel Bryan can possibly handle a full time schedule and Daniel Bry and if you haven't seen his matches lately, he's changed changed up some of his moveset. He no longer does the flying headbutt. He changed that to a top rope missile drop kick. Which, hey, I like, like, hey, the move's still cool, it's still pretty effective. And he does, and instead of the suicide dive, it's more or less a drop kick through the ropes, which... Moves are still effective. He's pretty much taking it safe this time around, which I commend Daniel Bryan for that because I like to see him trying to extend his career this time around. I don't want to see Daniel Bryan get hurt. But deep down, like, each time I see him possibly getting punched, like a wrestler 
doing the loose as press press position where he where they're getting where he's getting punched. I do kind of worry about him a little bit. Like like one move can put him back on the shelf and like and because of that, because of his history, WWE might say you got another concussion, that's it, you're done. Which, I don't want that to happen to Daniel Bryan. I, I still like him, I'm still a fan of him, but I don't want to see him possibly having to go back on the shelf. And, these are some of my concerns, and pretty much some of what I'm thinking about why his push hasn't been as great as a lot of people have thought it could be. So, till my next video, peace the fuck out.